All right, girls, y'all slacking today. There's only four y'all putting out. Oh, listen, listen, I need everybody's attention. All right, I need everybody's attention. Y'all listen up. Y'all want to hang around, don't want to be on a dinner plate. Y'all better get to producing some eggs. Mr. Rooster, you need to chill out, boy. You ain't running nothing around here. All right, y'all have a good evening. Hey, folks, welcome back. I'm David. This is Living Texas at Hidden Spring Farm. Well, we got some more work going on today with my dad's tiny home. We are completing, or I should say installing, some of the gas line that's going to go in today. We also have a lot of work to try to get done on the fence line. If you guys remember back here, we've got some fence line that needs to be worked on through the woods here coming up. And you can tell it's going up and down. And I tried to get some of the work done on it about two months ago before I went out of state for a little while and wasn't able to complete it. So I'm gonna be working on that today. And uh, maybe, just maybe, put some more corn in the deer feeder. We feed the deer out here year round. So we're gonna try to go out there, check on that feeder, make sure everything's still working properly after some repairs I did on it a couple of weeks ago. And that's pretty much it, other than doing our regular chores and taking care of business with the animals. Y'all come on and join us. And y'all stay up to date to what's going on with this project that we're dealing with. So the gas company doesn't have time to come out and put the full meter in. So they put the cap in. And it's uh, actually doing me a favor. Trying to get, I had a plumber scheduled to come out and run this gas line. And they weren't able to get the, the full meter put in and get the gas hookups and all. So they put this cap in so the plumber could run his stuff and know exactly where to go. Other than that, it's just me directing them on where I want the line ran so I can remember where it's at because I'm getting old and I don't know if I'm going to remember it. Even though they got locate wire and all that, I don't want to be digging a fence in the future and hit a gas line. So anyway, that's what we got going here and uh, let's get to it. Had to get him back on track a little bit because he was going off at an angle. So I'm gonna have to try to remember where that angle is, which is probably by that first apricot tree there. And it starts cutting back. So be one of those things to remember. Get a few years down the line, I'll probably forget that. So that's the way things go when you get old. So we haven't taken down that center fence yet because we haven't got that other fence up, of course. And what we're trying to do is get this trench dug and it's going to be on this side of the fence where it finishes out up behind the electrical panels and the new service that we put in last week. And this gas line is ultimately going to power or fuel the generator. So that's why we're trying to get this done. But we're gonna have to put it up on top of this hill behind the uh, container and near our shop. Well, we got that gas line in and the trench pretty well closed up, but man, it needs to be closed up a little bit better. You can see 
some of the dirt work that was left. The way they were grading it. It's uh, left a lot to be desired. You can see the trench. It's going to be supposedly pouring down rain in tomorrow, starting tonight, which thank you, Lord Jesus, for good rain. Because we need it. We, don't, we hadn't had any rain in a couple of months. Any really measurable rain to speak of that I can remember. So I'm going to try to fix some of this where this trench is. I need to get a tire in it, press it down, see exactly where it's at again, and then drag some of this leftover dirt or push some of this dirt up on that so when it rains, it'll sink down in that. And we won't have a, pers a permanent indention in the yard. I told you at the beginning of the video, chances are I was going to go work in the woods, try to get that fence line drug down. But we had a number of other things come up today, so I won't be able to get that done on this video. But I'm going to try to sneak out there before it gets dark and try to get that feed in that, in that feeder like I told you and uh, give you an idea of what it looks like out there. So y'all stick around for that. I'm going to work on this dirt real quick. put in, which ain't much. And it's gonna be number five. Plus, we got this parcel bag. The raccoons got in by the shop, tore it up. I'm gonna take it out, put it on the ground. Let's go. We are headed out to put the deer corn in the feeder. And you can see all you fans of Miss Cinnamon. There she is over there with her mama at the mineral tub. There's some more of them out here in uh, one of the little paddocks that we rotate them through. Word out, buddy. seconds of a dinner bell right there folks take you guys along here that's a little addition to the video we'll go in here don't judge me on my chicken coop i hadn't cleaned it in the last two months or so so i'm gonna go in here get the eggs all the chickens including leroy the rooster looks like they're up already it's kind of dark you can't really tell on the camera it's starting to get darker. We'll get over here and see about. What's up, chicks? What we got up here? Anybody missing? Let's do a head count. Get online, sir. Get online, ah, right, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. That's right, folks. We only got 15 left. We lost three the other day. I think one grabbed one of our Dominickers and something grabbed a Dominicker and might have chased two other ones and made them have a heart attack. But there was no bite marks. They weren't losing any feathers or anything like that. And so... This old rooster again is getting a little cocky here on me. He's going to end up... You do not want any of this, Mr. Rooster. All right, girls, y'all slacking today. There's only four y'all putting out. Oh, listen, listen, I need everybody's attention. All right, I need everybody's attention. Y'all listen up. Y'all want to hang around, don't want to be on a dinner plate. Y'all better get to producing some eggs. Mr. Rooster, you need to chill out, boy. You ain't running nothing around here. All right, y'all have a good evening. 
Only four of these girls putting out eggs. That's not right. Actually, we got a uh, 10 yesterday, so it is pretty right. Put one out. I know some of them lay eggs every day, but I know a few of them only lay every other day, every two days. So let's go check the hiding spot. There's usually one egg over in the hiding spot. Let's go check it out. You know the economy's bad when the chickens are laying down on you. Four eggs, folks. Four eggs. Anyway, so what I was telling you is, uh, I think something snatched one of the Dominickers, but they were out in this area. If y'all been following the channel, I cleared that area over there, fenced it in and all where the cows can get in the woods. Well, the day I put the cows over there, uh, I went up, put the chickens up, and I was missing three. I went out looking and found two laid by the fence. Y'all check this out in there. Can y'all see that in there? There's one egg right up in there. Let's see if I can take you with me. Old man's got to get down. Look at that. One egg. Oh, what I was saying is... Something snatched one of the Dominickers because that's the missing one. That's the one that's actually gone. But there was two other bodies that were laying out there that had no signs of any type of trauma or anything like that. They were just DRT, dead right there. And a Dominicker was missing. Thing is, there wasn't one feather out there from a Dominicker anywhere. So whatever grabbed it, got her, there wasn't no fight, nothing like that. Usually if a hawk hits our chickens, there's a bunch of feathers everywhere. Or if a possum gets them, they'll usually, the possums around here are partial to chicken head. So they'll take the chicken head, leave the rest of the chicken. Now look folks, way out there at the feeder, can you see them? way out there looks like those deer didn't wait long to get out there and start munching on the new stuff but anyway dominickers mia and we got two kia chickens so that's the latest chicken report from living texas at the hidden spring farm we appreciate you guys joining us hit those links i'm gonna put on the screen for you you guys have a blessed day. We'll see you next time. Live in Texas, Hidden Spring Farm.